Hi, I'm Joe Stowe. Today I'd like to show you how to test the starter in your car or truck. So this weekend I got stuck with my 1988 Chevy S10. Starter must have gotten a dead spot on it so it wouldn't, uh, couldn't get it to go. Um, so I just pop started it with the clutch and drove around the rest of the weekend that way. So now I took the starter out. I'm going to check it out. So follow along and I'll show you how to test it. So to check your starter, you're really only going to need a set of jumper cables and a screwdriver. If your starter is still installed in your vehicle, then you can bypass the jumper cables and just use the, uh, the power already to the starter. So on my battery, where the uh, battery terminals are in the back, they're a little hard to reach and I don't have um, any wires hooked up to them. So what I do normally when I need to jump, do any work with the battery, is I put these uh, studs in the battery and uh, I just screw them into the uh, positive and negative terminals of the battery and that way it gives me something to hook my jumper cables onto. So since my starter is already out of the vehicle um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect my jumper cables to this directly to the starter and that'll simulate it being in the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my I mean my positive battery cable, I'm going to hook it to the, the very large uh, terminal on top of the solenoid. This is a GM starter by the way, so the solenoid is uh, on top of the starter. Um, Fords I think are a little bit different, um, and Dodges I'm not really sure, but uh, for this is for a GM starter. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then I have my positive hooked to the positive terminal, and then I'm going to take my negative uh, jumper cable and I'm just going to connect it to a, a bolt here on the case of the starter for the ground. That looks pretty good. And then after that then I'll hook them up to the battery, the positive and negative cables on my battery, the other ends which I'll do right now. Okay so I have my power to the starter from my car battery so it's simulating being in the car so now if you're stuck because the solenoid is not working something's not working uh, with your starter and you think it still might work um, what you can do is you can take your screwdriver and make sure it's got a plastic ha handle on it like this one does I'm wearing a glove as well but whatever you know just make sure it has an in some sort of an insulated handle so that way you don't get shocked because it's going to be a heck of a jolt if you do now what you want to do is you have to find the S terminal which is uh, on usually on the uh, on the side of the uh, solenoid now it's going to you have a wire connected to it so probably the R terminal is not going to have a wire connected to it so you're only going to have the power and another small wire connected to your S terminal that's the one you want to jump so what we're looking to happen is we're going to jump between the power terminal and the S terminal and we're going to see the little Bendix inside here which is the, the gear is called the Bendix and um, you're going to see that pop out here and it's going to spin and that would spin your engine. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Now it's going to give a spark. Uh, don't be scared of it, but it is going to give a heck of a spark. Now the other, uh, other thing you can do, now this is an old starter. Uh, what you can do is, uh, because this will ruin the threads on your on the uh, post if you're not careful. Uh, so what you can do is leave that other wire, leave the wires connected to it, and that way you'll have the nut, and you can connect from the from the nut on the uh, on the batter, the starter post here, the solenoid post. All right, here we go. Okay, did you see that pop out? You should, should have seen the, uh, the starter pawl or the appendix pop out here and spin. Here it goes again. Okay, so we know the starter is actually good. Um, this is an, uh, a starter I took out of the truck. It wouldn't do this on the road. And I think it had a dead spot. Something's going on with it, but I couldn't get it to work. The battery is good. Um, so it's under warranty, so I'm going to put another warranty starter in it and um, then I'll be on the road. But that's how to jump start your car on the road. So it's a good idea to keep a screwdriver in your car or truck in case you get stuck. 
So if you like these types of videos, uh, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell. That way you'll be notified when I come out with some new videos. Also, in the, descri the description box below, I'll put some links to some handy tools that might help keep you on the road. All right, until the next video, I'll see you soon.